Hi, this is Kirk Bennett with I Help You, and I'm excited to talk about meditation, which I always do. But I want to focus on the reading part. There are five modes of meditation. Read it, write it, say it, sing it, pray it, which is simply a repetitive process that doesn't really have to be in order, but it's what the Bible says to do with the Bible. And so many people go, okay, but prove it. Why should we read it? And I want to focus on that today. Here's the first reason we should read the Bible. Because it's written. Because it exists as a writing. That's why we should read it. But I have found in the reading it that many times we're taught to read the whole Bible in a year, which is not a bad thing, or to read the Bible uh, through entirely. But I have found that in doing that kind of reading, I miss out on the little things that are given. Over and over, Paul says in his writings, the, the letters, he says, read this to the churches. Read this. He says it to the church at Colossae, the church at Ephesus, the church at Thessalonica. He says, read this letter to the saints. And it was written for all the saints to be read to them. Now, back in the days when Paul's writing, not everyone was a reader. So for some people, it had to be read to them. And so it was this ongoing process of reading the letters to get them spread through the churches. Even Paul's writing to the Colossians church, he says it's also to the Laodicean church. And so it's to be read to them as well. So it wasn't just one letter to one small group of elders. It was to be read over and over again. The reading of the scriptures out loud. I think of how in the return when Ezra uh, reads the scriptures to the people. Oh, what would it have been like to be there when Ezra read the scriptures too? If you're a, if you're a parent reading the scriptures to your children, but to read it yourself over and over again is again why we have a book. If it was not to be read and repeated, there's no reason to have the book. This book is unique. It's different than any other book that is written out there, the holy scriptures, the breath of God, the word of God. How often do you need that breath in your life? Read the book. It's that simple. But reading it over and over again in these small ways, it's amazing how many times you can read a verse and hear different things each time that you read it. Or sometimes you read it over and over again for an hour, and then suddenly God begins to talk. So read the book because it's written in God's language. It's the language of God, and that's the value. Read the book. It's worth it.